welcome to my Brady Studio Tour 2023. In today's video, I'm gonna bring you guys along and show you all of the products, tools, equipment that I use to make sure that my braid game is on point as well as the client experience because that is everything, okay? If you're looking to level up in the braiding industry, you need to be paying attention to this. And I'm not gonna gatekeep because we don't do that over here. And if you're new here, my name is Indy, also known as Indy Bindi Braids, and I'm a braider, content creator, business owner, entrepreneur, call it what you want, girl, I do it all. I really racked my brain to figure out what really represents me, right? As you can see, it's very colorful, just like, me and by the way all of the things that i'm mentioning if it was bought on amazon they will be linked on my amazon storefront so be sure to check that out Her. come with me before we get into the tour today's video is sponsored by trendy tresses i am wearing their river curls in the color 1b i created a whole diy tutorial on how i did this crochet wig yes this is a wig look wig I made a whole tutorial on how I did this hairstyle linked right here. And if you guys would like to, please check it out because it is one of the best DIYs I have created thus far. Thank you Trendy Trusses for sponsoring today's video. And you guys check out their page and their hair when you have the chance because it is really great quality. This is week two of having this wig made and the hair is still holding up. Look at the... Uh, I love the quality of Trendy Chess's hair to be real. Hey, I'm not just saying that because I'm not just gonna say things. We're, we keep it real with each other. Let's get into this tour. So you guys already saw the whole lobby and the inside and the elevator, all that stuff. But did you know that this building is a very historic building? It was built in 1923, y'all. 23 is crazy. And if you look, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna insert a picture right here. The cars look so old. <laughs> I bet you some crazy stuff has happened in this building. But we're not gonna think about it. We're not gonna think about it. Anyways, yes, and the company that rents out these suites is called Expansive Workspace. And they do have different locations, so definitely check to see if an Expansive Workspace is near a location that you're in, because this is one of the best finds that I have ever found basically what expansive does is that they rent out these studios or they rent out these offices basically you know the basic business structure of buying a building and renting it out to people but they really encourage entrepreneurship the people next to me were I can't remember what they were <laughs> they did a lot of computer typing though and they came in blazers every day so it must have been something serious i was looking for more something in this area in downtown orlando which is where i'm located right now i wanted something in the city and i also wanted something that gave me a bit of flexibility because a lot of the times when you rent out a suite or a chair you're in somebody else's business which is very true but sometimes that doesn't leave you a lot of flexibility the rent might be too high and uh, there's just a lot so when I signed up for this studio suite, the rent was 50% off the first six months. And to be real, if we're talking pricing, if we're talking pricing, this suite is around, I'm gonna give you an estimate, 1,500 or so a month. But the first six months were 50% off. So to me, when I had the consultation, I said, oh, you know what? That is a steal. That is a steal, right? Because this room, we're going to get into it. I'm going to show you guys all of it. But this room was previously rented out by a barber. Can't remember his name. But yeah, he was renting out this room. And when I saw it, I was like, ah, oh, perfect. Need it. And this location is only 15 minutes from my house. So I can't ask for more. Da -da. They printed this out for me in DBB Braves. You know me. You know your girl. And they put it on the door. The door is orange though. It came orange. So that was kind of a hurdle for me to jump over. <laughs> because at first I did not like the orange door. It was not giving. But eventually I was like, you know what? We can kind of tie this into the decor and make it fit. Because to paint this, I would be throwing up and crying. This wall is my favorite. This is the best thing I've ever done, <laughs> creatively speaking. This is my art wall, and I have a whole bunch of 
motivational, meaningful quotes in it. This one, she believes she could, so she did. A little cliche, but literally no. That quote, she believes she could, so she did. Period. Is there a period at the end? Ah, oh, there isn't. There should be a period. Period. I printed out some of these posters from Etsy. You can go on Etsy and find a template or a print. You can, listen, Etsy, that girl. Etsy is right behind Canva. But I went on Etsy, found some prints that I like, and usually they come in packages or you can purchase single prints. And a print is basically a digital file or digital picture of something that you can then print out wherever you want. So I bought some prints on Etsy, printed them out at Walgreens, and I also ordered a few posters from Amazon just because some of the designs that I wanted were already on posters and they came in a package. This, this one I got from Etsy and I had it printed out at Walgreens as a poster. Oh, something like these two, I got these two from Amazon. So it really just depends on what you're trying to do. You have a lot of room. If you're trying to recreate something like this, this style of decor is called eclectic maximalism. Now listen, I'm no interior designer, so if this is not really what that is, don't come for me because I don't really know. I just know it's cute. This is the type of style that I tried to look up inspo for, as well as my nail tech, Francesca. Her wall looks... I basically, she put me on game. <laughs> so she gave me the inspiration to try this out and I picked my own pictures and this is what happened. The, the frames are from Ikea and at home. Now if you don't have an at home, which is basically a decor store in your area, you can just straight up go to Walmart, you can go to Ikea, you can get your frames from Amazon, it doesn't matter. Cheap frames, right? This shelf came from Ikea. I had to special order it or whatever because when we originally did it, I could only get my hands on one and my beautiful, lovely, amazing mother put it together for me. <laughs> Love her. She helped me put it together, but it is basically a shoe container. It is not a regular shelf because when you open it, it only opens this much, which is perfect because what I was looking for is something that isn't protruding so far out of the wall and this shoe container is perfect so instead of these towels you're meant to put sneakers sandals whatever in here and slide them in and close it got my business cards in here your girl's got her business card in this drawer I keep my products and tools well some of them some of the things that I don't usually use in a regular appointment so I like this mousse I was using these for mini twists this is my standard mousse that I use but if I have any extras I'll put it in here this is like a locking gel this is not specifically the things that I use to braid hair that I'm putting you guys on these are just random products that I shoved in this drawer but yeah anyways this drawer is for products this one it just has like a random this is for the blow dryer an extra one this one, it has my disposable headrest that I'm gonna get into in a little bit, as well as some wipes. So this is basically my, my cleaning drawer. And this one has some forks in it because your girl be hungry, okay? And we need forks to eat. Also have this square reader. This is something that I don't normally use all the time because now you can tap it on your phone. But it is a nice addition to have. That way I don't always have to use my phone. Customers can go ahead and tap their card, their phone, whatever, and it can print out receipt if you're interested in that. Moving on to this wall. This wall, I'm not sure where I got this inspo from. I kind of just, I see a lot of people put up bundles and braiding hair and bundles. So I decided let's give it a try, let's give it a whirl. So I've placed a few bundles of braiding hair here and it came out so cute. I got this hook stand from at home as well as my sign. Now a lot of people ask me about this sign. I did turn it off though because I need the cord for my ring light. But my sign is from Etsy you guys. I ordered it from a shop called Neon Artisans. And it was $250 and it came on time and it was perfect. And I've had it for almost as long as I've been braiding. Low key. Uh, probably like three years. Which is more than half of the time. So it's held up really well. 
no complaints at all. Up here, I have a few Shine and Jam bottles. We'll get more into the products, but I just keep my extras up here. I was looking so hard for an accent chair this color and size, and I found one on Wayfair. Gold. She's a beaut, right? Yeah, cool. This chair is from Amazon. It is a hydraulic saddle chair. That was a mouthful, right? Saddle chair. So saddle in you're saddling it so that it gives you that support and hydraulic because you can go down, you can go up. You can do a lot with this chair. And it also has wheels on it on the bottom so that way you can be mobile. This, no, no, listen, look me in my face. This has saved my back. This and the fatigue mat down here, right here, has saved my back. So if you're a braider and your back is killing you, make sure that you have some form of seating. Like, girl, why are you standing up? <laughs> you do not have to stand, especially for the back. Because if you're starting in the back, and you don't need to be standing, please don't. <laughs> please sit down and find you a nice, comfortable chair. I will say though that because it is a saddle, sometimes I wish it wasn't almost, just so that you know my legs don't have to be in that position for so long, but at that point I could just stand up and then when I'm ready, sit back down. So, perfect, it'll, and remember it'll be linked on my storefront. Okay, this is where my clients sit. This chair is also from Amazon. Listen, Amazon, sponsor me. But this chair is also from Amazon. I'm gonna show you how it works. It's really cool, it reclines. This table that I'm gonna move out of the way is also from Amazon, I believe. Amazon queen. So I have a side table here for clients that has the remote on it for the TV. And when they come in, they can put their purses down, their drinks, if they bought food, if they want to order food, everything can go on this table. And sometimes people think that it's for me because I'll put like my phone or something on the edge of the table. But no, it is completely for my clients. If they come in and want to set up shop, set up, get comfortable, they have this table here. But for now, the remote's going on it and we're gonna move it out of the way. You see it? You see it? Ah, this chair is from Amazon and it was, I can't remember the price, it'll be right here as well. This chair reclines, so if you pull this lever, or push or pull, if you push it, you can lay down as well as the feet come up a bit. You see? Oh yeah. Yep. So it reclines as well as the headrest comes up. There's a button back here. Yes, the headrest comes up because y'all, when I first started out, I was braiding out of a lawn chair and that does not have any special compartments. It doesn't have any special anything, okay? This has neck support, which I'm finding is very convenient when it comes to client comfortability, if that's even a word, and the client experience. Because after a while, especially if you're doing styles that take a long time, I'm sure your neck would be hurting. I do not want anybody in pain. I want them to be as relaxed as possible. In fact, now that I have this headrest, it is encouraged that people go to sleep, which I know is usually frowned upon in the braiding community. And even at one point, I used to get bothered because people would fall asleep. And then, you know when you fall asleep and you're like, yeah, people be falling out of the chair. But with this headrest, you can easily just place your head here. You can even recline. And girl, you can take a nap. But this does require you to have it down. Let me show you. This does require you to have it down for the first leg of the appointment so that you can reach the back of their head. But once you kind of get to the top, that is when you can bust this baby out and people are like, oh my gosh, are you serious? I can go to sleep. And you know what? Once I tell them that, hey, you know, if you want to close your eyes, doze off, vibe. They be knocking out. The only thing I'm missing though is a blanket basket. So that's something I'm working on, but sometimes my clients bring their own blankets and go to sleep. And it's the best thing ever to go to sleep and wake up and you're done. <laughs> Crazy. On here is the disposable headrest cover and I just started implementing this because my mom told me to. <laughs> 
But no, for real though, this is something that you can take off, put on, just so that people's head oils and hair product stuff, you know, so it doesn't get dirty. Attached on here as well, that I kind of keep on top of the chair, is this braiding bib that is silicone that I use to put on my client's shoulders for when dipping hair. So this is a dupe that I found on Amazon, but listen, the original one, or at least that I found to be one of the first to do it, is called the Braid Bib, okay? That is the one that I really wanted. But your girl was balling on a budget and I needed to get the dupe, so this one is from Amazon. But if you guys are interested in buying the actual thing, the Braid Bib is available to order and it's made by a fellow braider and that covers the chair the anti-fatigue mat is also from amazon this is a great mat because when you're standing and doing your client's hair back here you need some cushion to be able to support your back your ankles and your knees so this is really good as well as investing in some good shoes that have support and comfort moving on to the tv so this is a roku tv can't really say that I'd recommend it 100% because this TV does kind of glitch on me, which is weird. It'll just close out the whole whatever we're watching. Sometimes it'll act right, sometimes it'll literally cut up. So I, <laughs> I'm 50-50 on it. It was a cheap TV though, it's from Walmart. It was about $100 and change or 100 and something dollars. So very affordable, but it shows <laughs> but you know overall great tv i had it mounted to the wall i really only have netflix at the moment and youtube some people log into their hulu it just depends on what whatever you want whatever works beneath it i have my snacks these are just some random snacks <laughs> i did have like a lot of healthy ones so it kind of just changes but i had one client she was like girl your snacks are too healthy like we are here to relax and I'm like, oh, maybe I should put something besides granola bars. <laughs> but you know, I kind of have a good mix of things. I did have Boom Chicka Pop on here too, which is my favorite popcorn. Um, but for now, we just got some fruit snacks, some chips, some Rice Krispies, some Oreos, that kind of stuff. Here, right now, I'm still looking to get a side table for right here, but there's my kettle. And there is the clear, picture that I use to pour the water in for now just let's just pretend that this doesn't look as ugly as it's looking right now <laughs> let's move on to what is in my braiding cart so this is my braiding rack I got this from Joanne's fabrics and I spray painted it pink with some spray paint it was about 20 I cannot remember exactly what the range was but it was okay because it has so many spools on it that it was worth it it's like the jumbo size rack and I have some hooks here. These are the same hooks that I use to hang the braiding hair on there. Oop, a rogue clip. So sometimes when I have multiple bundles of hair, I'll just do the same thing, like how they are on the wall, and I'll hook them on the back of this braiding rack here. On the back of the cart are the tools that I use. You already saw this Shine and Gem, which is the main product that I use. I really don't use anything else maybe style factor edge control for the edges but this is the main product that i use okay now the price point for this not cheap <laughs> this is 20 dollars a jar which is not that expensive either it just depends on what kind of quality that you're looking for but i really love this braiding gel which is why i invested it and buy it again and again and it smells good compared to the yellow one i kind of got literally sick of how the yellow one smells <laughs> so this red one is kind of more of a fruity vibe that feeling when it's fresh anywho on my cart here I have my combs these are precision ruler combs okay an essential essential and I have three of them these combs are perfect for beginners for me, I don't really exactly need the measurements on there, but it is really helpful for when I'm trying to make sure that everything is the exact same size. So perfect for beginners because you don't even have to think. You don't have to eyeball, you don't have to do anything. You just have to look at the ruler on the comb and measure it out and part it. So I usually keep a few of these, a few clean ones on my cart and then go right here 
And if you're interested in ordering your own precision ruler comb, check out the link down below in my description. They're available to order at ibhessentials.com. Period. I also have this comb, which is a wider tooth comb just for combing out hair that you're not using that small tooth comb all the time. If your hair is thick or if it's curly or coarse or whatever, this wider tooth comb is better so that you're not ripping out clients' hair, right? And it's pink. Duh. I also have this braiding gel band, which goes on your arm like that, like a watch. And you put your braiding gel on here instead of on your hand. Sometimes I use this, sometimes I don't, just depends on how I'm feeling. If I wear this for too long, honestly, my hands start to sweat and I really don't like that feeling. So sometimes I'll use this, sometimes I won't. But it is something that is very helpful. Along with the tools, I have an edge brush that has the brush side as well as a comb side. I use both. I also use a crochet needle for some styles. This is just, or it's a latch hook, I'm sorry. <laughs> I also use a latch hook for some styles. And this is like a staple. You can get these literally from anywhere. Scissors, important. And these are some of the clips I use. Sometimes I'll use metal clips. These are duckbill, double prong, I lied. These are double prong clips and they're just metal, metal clips. Or for bigger sections, I'll use these. These are alligator clips. Yeah, I'll use these. This is my travel bag. I don't always keep her in here, but today she's just in here. And in here, I'll just keep my camera equipment, any content creation, things that I need, I'll keep it in there. Here is where I keep my blow dryer for now. I don't always use it, but when I do, yeah. <laughs> it could go on the cart. I know a lot of carts have those little cup things that you can put blow dryers in but my cart don't got that oh also oh my gosh I almost forgot the actual cart itself is able to adjust like so it goes a lot higher than this but I'm not gonna do all that which is perfect because when I feel like adjusting I will adjust Inside this cabinet is where I keep miscellaneous items, <laughs> as well as braiding hair and crochet hair on these racks. Up here I have some tools, like a hammer. The things I use to put up my pictures, basically. I have it on here, I have some random paint down here. There's just a bunch of randomness in here <laughs> at the moment. But it'll eventually be cleared out and made cute. But there really isn't much to put in here, so that's why it's like this. And if I have any extra snacks, I'll put them in here as well. Just so that they're out of the way in there. I have this mirror, which I also got from Ikea. Clutch, okay? Last, last but not least is this ring light. This is a newer ring light and it comes with this tripod stand. The stand is not the best, but this ring light though, she eats every single time. That is the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed some of the things that I've shared with you and found some value in it. Some things like the reclining chair are things that I wish somebody shared with me when first starting out because y'all, that lawn chair was not giving. And if you guys have your own studios or workspaces or offices or anything that you've designed yourself, link it down below. I would love to see any designs that you guys came up with because for me it was a little bit difficult trying to figure out things that look cute. I made a whole Canva spreadsheet and everything before I bought them, before I bought stuff. Also, thank you Trendy Tresses for sponsoring today's video. I am wearing their River Curls in the color 1B. And don't forget to check out my DIY tutorial right here if you guys want to know exactly how I did it. Thank you! I love y'all! I'm so hungry right now, I need to eat before I pass out. <laughs>